Shalom, Yashallah, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waka, Kodash, Barakatha, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha, Yashallah, Barakatha, Yahuda. We're going to give double honor to the apostle and elders, the great millstone who teach in the world, who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Aki and Walk all scattered abroad to sincere members of the hopeful elect who have been quickening these last days to find their feet, bear witness to the words of truth. This lesson is inspired by um a lesson that the um elder Manassas Akba of South of Carolina just um I guess he put it up. It was um an older lesson that he did concerning um T D Jakes versus Hebrew Israelites concerning the Gentiles and being grafted in, man. And uh I'm inspired to do this lesson because at this point, man, even though that lesson is, uh, I don't know how old, how, how long ago it was done, but at this point, man, if you're an Israelite and, you, and you're on the fence of whether or not the Gentiles or, or other nations that aren't Israelites, and, you know, Israelites, actual Israelites descended of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if you still have trouble grasping that, man, then I don't know what to tell you, man, because that's, that's I, I, I mean... It, me speaking as a man, that's it's not that hard to 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 wrap your mind around, man. It's honestly not. It's not. It's not one of the. I mean, it is. It's a deep thing in the scriptures, but it's not that deep, man. Migration happens. People chant. People move. Do not the scriptures say that Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents? We are a nomadic people by nature, man. Even still, man, all throughout the captivities are scattering. That the cap the captivities are scattering. The diasporas, man, with all the evidence and all the scriptures that point to the Gentiles as concerning salvation being Israelites, man. If you don't believe it, man, I mean, hey, bro, then I don't want to tell you because a lot of times, man, you Christianers and a lot of you Israelites, man, you want to the deep breakdown to the scriptures, but the the uh, the milk you can't even get this the milk and the milk and soft bread, man. You wanted a, a T bone, well done steak, man. You can't even get, you can't even stomach the the milk and the the soft bread, man. So I just want to, I want to just go into a quick couple things, man. I'm not gonna make this lesson entirely too long because at the end of the day, the scriptures say that. Let's get that, man. Let's get that. Hebrews 4 and 1, it says, Let us therefore fear, least, lest a promise being left of, it's like it, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it, man. And that's another thing, man, the covenants, man. You got to understand the chronology of the scriptures, the sequencing of events. You have to understand what's going on, man. Verse 2, it says, For unto us, was the gospel preached, man? To us is the believers, as well as uh, what well is unto them, the unbelievers. But here's what happened: the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed in faith that heard it, man. Because ultimately, this is a thing of faith, man. <clears throat> so let's go to this, man. This is critical thinking. Critical thinking. It says, the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. What does it mean to be objective? It means to be outside of one's uh, thoughts or feelings, to, to, to set aside one's personal vain opinion. That's why you have objective and subjective. Subject subject to be under rule of, objective, it would, would be the opposite of that. We're going to read again, critical thinking. The objective analysis and evaluation of an, an issue in order to form a judgment, man. So we understanding that, uh, understanding that you have to apply critical thinking to the scriptures, man. When you're talking to these people, man, these people, a lot of these people do not use, and I know, like, it's take what I'm saying in balance, but a lot of things that these people say are not logical, man. It's not logical at all, man, because for you to say that the, the, all not even it's like you totally disregard the fact that it might be. Some Israelites could be considered Gentiles. Like, that doesn't even cross your mind at all. It's either all or nothing. Like, no, the Gentiles are most definitely every other nation except uh, um, Israelites, man. When Israelites are called called heathen, they're called 
uh, degenerates. They're called a strange vine. Let's let's get a let's get a quick scripture like that just to prove the fact that even Israelites, man, were, were called um, you know were, were called heathens, man. Okay, so um, sing Ezra two and thirty three. I Ezra received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb that I should go unto what Israel. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught and despised the commandment of the Lord. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, talking about the Israelites, clearly, clearly talking about the Israelites due to con uh, contextual evidence, that here I understand, look for your shepherd, and he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand, uh, hand that shall come in the end of the world, man. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting life shall shine upon you forever, man. And that's plain, man. That's just one example. But just to go on, to continue on the lesson, man, you have to use critical thinking. You have to be able to spit the meat from the bones. Because when a lot of these Christianers, man, when they come up, they're talking about all this other bullshit. It's, it's, it's illogical. It goes against the scriptures. Because nine times out of ten, they like to isolate scriptures, twist it. They don't like to, they don't, a lot of times they like to um, use ignorance as a weapon. Because you know you you ask a Christian, okay, what does this word mean in the Greek or Greek or you know what I mean um, what's the precepts of that or or what is he you know sometimes in the New Testament or quoting the Old Testament you ask them, well, okay, what is he quoting and they can't they'll they'll plead ignorance and tell you it doesn't matter or you know we're reading this in English and this down the third. But here is one scripture that I always love to go to because at the end of the day, it defeats. Whatever nonsense, whatever nonsensical arguments you make, whatever whatever nonsense you want to spew out your mouth, it defeats this man. This one plain scripture right here defeats anything that is not of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Matthew twenty eight and eighteen, and Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, "All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, man. Go ye therefore and teach all nations." And see here, here's here here is the what man the um um. <clears throat> it's like a, here would be, here is what the opening for the Gentiles, man. Go and teach all the nations, man. Baptizing them in the name, the, so the name is important, man. It wasn't he, he, he on the scene and I understand this. This is him talking to his disciples, man. Use critical thinking while I'm going through the scripture. That's why I, I had, the, had the definition. Use critical thinking, context clues, a uh, uh, plot, a uh, uh, um, setting, uh, character analysis, all this, man. Yahweh is talking to his disciples, giving them a command. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been Jesus Christ, man. And here's the point. It says, teaching them. So when you go to these nations, nations, and you're amongst them, and, you're and you talk to them, and you're instructing them, and you're edifying them, it says, teaching them to observe all things Whatsoever I have commanded you, that is the doctrine. That is what we preach uh, on the house talks, man. This is what we do, man. What Yahweh Shai uh, told us in his word, that is what we teach, man. And nowhere, you will not find any scripture anywhere in Matthew, Luke, Mark, or John, where Yahweh Shai, even in the book of Acts, the first chapter, you will never find any scripture that says anything about salvation for any other nation other than the Israelites, man. Nowhere. You will not find a, a scripture that verbatimly says, verbatim, word for word, line for line, that says, I, um, you know, just being funny, I, just Christ, came for the whole world, man. You won't find it, man. Where he said it out of his own mouth. <clears throat> And not only that, man, you won't even be able to break it down, man. Because I know there's a Christian in the background, background talking about um, John 3.16. But John, we know John 3.16, not talking about no dang on. Let's just go to it. John 3.16. For the Most High loved the world, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting everlasting life, man. That's not talking about the uh, multi-ethnic church, man. That's not talking about that, man. Because when you, when you go down in context, man, it says, um, verse 14, And as Moses lift up, lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so, like, in the same way, same way, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, man. Speaking about what, man? That the counter numbers, man. But that's not that's neither here nor there, man. John three sixteen has already been broken down through the spirit, man. We've already destroyed the the, the replacement theology, but even still, man, going back to this, man, Matthew twenty eight and twenty, man, says, "Teach them to observe all things whatever whatsoever I've commanded you, man." And that's it, man. That destroys Christianity right there, man. Because y'all shall never said. That never said to um to eat unclean foods. He never said it, not once. You will never find in the scriptures Yahweh Shah saying it's okay to eat un unclean foods, meaning like uh, abominations. You know what I'm saying abominable foods. You will never see him saying it's okay to um to uh, smoke weed. You never saying it's okay for. You'll never see him saying it's okay for him to um for you to you uh um. Uh, practice idolatry, celebrate your birthday, celebrate Christmas. You'll never see you will never see him uh uh teaching none of this to, when he taught, man. That destroys Christianity, man, because again, man, let's go back, let's go to first John. Go first John two. Um first John two and four. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him, man. When did Yahweh Shah ever say I came for all nations? When did he ever say celebrate your birthday? When did he ever say uh, um, do this in the third, man? Prove it, man. The scriptures say prove all things, man. Pull it up. Burk chapter verse, man. Surely, surely uh, you should have some type of uh, uh, um, substantiation or some type of ev evidence to support your claim. You should, sh you surely should, man. Especially, man, if you say you're a Christian, you're a follower of Hamashiach, man. Go to him, man. Go to what did he say, man? And again, man, the, the disciples were in order, man. Apostle Paul was in order, man. It was, it was, everybody was in order, man, because the Most High is not the author of confusion, man. They taught what Yahweh Shai told them to teach, man. They were in the spirit, man. Yahweh Shai sent them the, sent them the comforter, man. So they wasn't going off, man. So you won't see, again, man, that's why that, that critical thinking is important, man. Because we see uh, scriptures like Matthew 15 and 24. Where he says, but he answered Yahweh Shai. So you see the red letters and said, I am not sent, man. He said it out of his own mouth. And again, taking into account Matthew 28, man, with this Matthew 15, he said it, answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. How how much how, how much more planner does, does it need to get, man? Why didn't, if the Lord was here to save all nations, why didn't he tell Pontius Pilate to repent, man? He never told Pontius Pilate to repent. He never said, he never said, uh, 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 um, be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit, man. He never told Pontius Pilate that, man. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't, if it was, if it was so important for the Lord to save all nations, why wouldn't he tell Pontius Pilate that? Why wouldn't he go to Herod and uh, tell him to repent, man? Why weren't there women teachers, man? Why won't, why won't, a, a lot of things that these Christian teach, man, it, hey, it's not in the scriptures, man. You have to use critical thinking, man. If you're going to say you follow Yahweh Shah Mashiach, uh, uh, whithersoever he goeth, you got to you gotta be, you gotta be uh, understanding of what he taught, man. He didn't teach none of these things that are found in Christianity. You won't find it in the scriptures, man. And therefore... It just, that that one scripture, Matthew. I I love going to that scripture, man. I I, I go to it so often, man, because at at this point, it's it's no necess, it's no need to go to any other scriptures and try to beat it over Jake's head, man. It's about being in order, man. Yahweh Shai, never you will never you will never you will never see Yahweh Shai teaching people to break the law. You will never see him saying the law is done away with. You would never see him say, I came to save the whole world. You would never see him, you would never see him say, uh, you know, celebrate your birthday. It's okay to smoke weed. It's okay to eat pork. It's okay to commit adultery. It's okay to have long hair. It's okay to do this, that. It's okay to uh, carry sticks at camp. It's okay to do this, that, and the third, man. You will never see him say none of that, man. 
And I don't want to hear people say, well, oh, well, since he didn't say it, that's, that's the spirit of rebellion, man, because the, the Lord is not the author of confusion, man. What he wanted us to know, he brought it out in his word, man. So all you people just that want to look for excuse or, well, oh, the Lord didn't say this down the third way, hey, man. Let the multitude then perish that was born in vain, man, because hey, you're, you're stupid, man. That's why the scriptures say um, it didn't profit you because it, it wasn't preaching, pre, uh, it wasn't mixed with faith. Let's go to Isaiah 28, and we'll get one more scripture, and we'll close it out, man. I just wanted to quickly go into that, man, because, like I said, um, where is this at? Isaiah 28 or 24. Because, I, like I said, man, it was just on my spirit from, from seeing that because, um, man, you people, you got to use critical thinking, man. You got to you gotta come up on a level, Jake. You got to use your brain. You you literally have to, man. I'm going to kick myself, man. Cause I know I I, I know where it's, I was just in Isaiah twenty eight. This is Isaiah twenty eight and thirteen. It says, "But the word of Yahweh Shemashah was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line up, constantly going to the scriptures, man. Every single day, man. Lesson after lesson, man. Live stream after live stream. Camp lesson after camp lesson. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Constant edification with the scriptures, man." Uh, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that what they might go and fall backward and be broken and snare and take it, man. You gotta understand that, man. All the when when you're not dealing with somebody who is that the Lord Himself is dealing with, man, they're just gonna be confused. They're gonna be lost. They're gonna have a lot of butts. They're gonna have a lot of. They're gonna stutter a lot, <laughs> most likely. They're gonna you're, they're gonna draw blanks. They're not gonna be able to answer your questions. They're probably going to sweat. They're going to be nervous. Because at the end of the day, man, they don't know what the hell they're talking about, man. So for you people who just, for some reason, the gen, it just, it's just so, it makes, to you, it makes all the sense in the world that the, the whole, the, the Gentiles just have to be the entire nations. When the scriptures are plain, man, the new covenant is for Israel. So if, if the new covenant was for Israel, what's the point of the Gentiles being you know what I'm saying? Why would the why would the Gentiles be other nations if they're not going to be a part of the new covenant? It doesn't it doesn't make sense, man? You need to use critical thinking, man. And let's just and let's just go through Romans eleven quickly, just to give a just just to give a a word of advice, man. Because this is one of Christians' favorite scriptures, man. Let's let like to start at Romans eleven and sixteen. It says, "For the if the first fruit be holy." What's the first fruit, man? The lump is also holy, and the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the and if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, understanding what a wild wild olive tree just represents being out of order, man. You're still an olive tree, but what you're out of order, man. That's why the scriptures say, Jeremiah too, man, you have become a strange vine of a degenerate plant, man. Since we're grafted in among them and with them. Partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. It's, just, it's still an olive tree, man. It would be it, it would be different if we were grafting an olive tree with an apple, apple tree. Just boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee, man. Talking about uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Thou would say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in, man. Well, because of the unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by faith, be not highly minded, but fear. It says, but if the Most High spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee, man. And that 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 totally destroys Christianity because how can Esau Edom be saved, man? If the, if Yahweh Bashimah chastised his people, his chosen people, he didn't spare them. Why would he spare Esau Edom? <clears throat> let's just just um jump down to twenty five, man, because that's what like a lot of you got. This is what you have to do, man. We have to understand that the answers are in the scriptures, man. That's why the scriptures say, peace through, your, through thy priests I gain knowledge, man. The apostle Paul knew exactly what he was talking about. Don't let anybody else tell you this is what the apostle Paul meant. He said it, what he meant, man. Right here, verse 25. He says, for I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, man. He said, "I don't, okay, I know I just said a mouthful. But let me give you, just, just, let's cut to the chase and give you the answer of what I mean. It says, at least you should be wise in your own conceit, like you Christianers, man. You think you know what he's talking about, but he's right here telling you plainly. 
I w- I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about. It says it says that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. There are those Gentiles, and so all Israel shall be saved, man. What? How plain does it get after that, man? He said, at the end of the day, man. After after I went through this whole uh, analogy, this uh, 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 parable of sorts. Of the olive tree being broken off, the branches is on the third, trying to explain to you your place in this ministry, your place in this body, your place in this, this gospel, man. I'm not going to leave you uh, uh, wondering, man, because that's what Yahweh Shai did, man. He left the people wondering, man. Paul said, you know, I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. He said, okay, Israel, <clears throat> he said, blindness and parts happened to Israel, man, because why, man? At the time, was bro, the, the, all twelve tribes were not in the same place, and on top of that, the 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 word of truth was not, uh, um, being magnified across the four corners of the earth, man. And not and not only that, man, <clears throat> we still they there, there were still certain, like the book of Revelation hadn't even been written yet, man. You know what I mean? The book of Revelation hadn't been written yet. You know, uh, um, certain certain things hadn't come to pass. It says, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And like it says, so all Israel shall be saved, man. So where is all the... Na- where? Why didn't Paul say the whole world shall be saved? Or all the nations and the Gentiles and all the people and, you know, the frogs and the cats. It says, oh, it says oh, and so all Israel should be saved, man. He said it out of his own mouth. As it is written, there shall come out a sign to deliver and shall turn away in godliness from Jacob. And then he quoted the Old Testament. I believe that's Isaiah 55, man. He quoted, he quoted the Old Testament. Right? How plain does it get, man? And then it, said, it goes even further. It says, For this is my covenant unto them, taken in context, the Israelites, which I shall take away their sins, man. It's plain, man. That's why, brothers, hey, you got to use critical thinking, man. When you're out here dealing with dealing with Christianers, man, you don't, at the end of the day, you don't have to explain it to them, man. You give, it's, bro, at, at, right now we're in a point of either you're going to listen to me or you're not going to listen. And if you, you're you not going, if you can't get the understanding, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my breath trying to give you the understanding. You're going to listen to me or you're going to go up the fucking street, man. And uh, see, if it's, let it be between you and the Lord, man. Maybe shit. But I just want to quickly go into that. You know, Lord willing, I was edifying. I know I, I did a lot of rambling. I was kind of all over the place, but. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For Yahweh Hashem Shai and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty, man. For Yahweh Hashem Shai should bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, hallelujah.